Hi there, it's Susan for SusanWinter.net. Thank you for coming to my channel. So today I have a viewer's question on limiting beliefs, thinking that we don't deserve. It's a good one, so let me read it to you. Uh, Miriam writes, uh, Dear Susan, please make a video on how to deal or empower yourself when you finally find someone you think you deserve, but you keep doubting yourself and your ability to achieve happiness. Miriam, thank you so much. I think uh, from time to time, we all have uh, moments of doubting ourselves. And from time to time, we may wonder if we deserve. Um, I can tell you the way I do it, okay? So when I discover that I have a negative belief, one that's working against me, or a limiting belief, I have to actually do some surgical work on it. I like to take it apart, deconstruct it, and the way I override that is to provide the most credible, believable, to me, argument that absolutely eradicates that thought. So this is not ego or bluster. It's not me saying, oh, wow, I think I'm amazing and I deserve this. Because for somebody like me, that's not going to last. That's, that's ego. I have to come up with an absolute logical explanation for why I would deserve this person. And I have to go through and make it like I am doing the court case of the century. And this is my argument that I'm presenting the entire jury that I have to be that specific. For example, uh, if it's about deserving, and it's about, okay, let, let me go back. It's the part that you've actually found somebody. Okay, now, here's what I would start with. You've actually manifested somebody in your life. Okay, you brought somebody wonderful in. You've probably been thinking for ages, I wish I had somebody wonderful. And you might have had a lot of painful relationships, bad dates, people that disappointed you. And now you've finally achieved this. So instead of looking at this logically, you're looking at it emotionally. Logically, it, the, the analysis would be, I did my time. I paid my dues. I had rotten dates. I had broken hearts. I worked my way up to this level. No differently than if you get a promotion that you have worked hard for, you deserve it. Did you not pay the coin of tears? Did you not pay with heartache? Did you not have prayers and dreams and hopes? Then you paid, you paid, and we deserve what we've paid in for. This is not a question of entitlement. I deserve it because it's just me and I deserve it. That's hard for a lot of people to wrap themselves around. Let's be logical. You have paid for it already. And now it has shown up in your life. It's here. This is the outcome of every decision you made along the way. And every amended bit of behavior, every changed thought, every action that you corrected, this is the new level where you've come to. Now, your mind can certainly accept that argument, can it not? It's the logical outcome of everything you did. So you deserve it. You deserve, and it came because you're ready. The second part of this, you know, do I deserve it? That's deep rooted. That comes back to our family of origin, the messages we got. Just so you know, everybody's got something. I've, I've isolated about four or five things that you know, destroy people and that, that's the hole that they fall into. I'm unwanted, I'm faulty, I don't deserve, uh, I'm not good enough. You know, don't think other people don't have this. They do. A lot of the great achievements in the world have been driven from this feeling that we're not enough or we don't deserve. And I understand that very well. So I think hard work is a pretty good logical argument for why I deserve. I think the fact that I paid my dues, pretty good logical argument for the fact that, yeah, this is what's happened. It's only natural that this would occur. So Miriam, 
when you're finding yourself doubting, get your argument together that really works for you, for your psyche, for your mentality, for your disposition. This is how I have to do it. This is how my mind thinks. Hopes and dreams and pretty words, they don't last. They feel good in the moment. I need a really solid argument that I can say, yeah, I absolutely believe that. I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for writing to me. For those of you who'd like a consultation, please check out my page on my website, susanwinter.net. I would love to work with you personally. And for those of you that have a question, go to the contact page, go to the bottom, don't go to media, go to the bottom with the green little bar that says Q&A video requests, and I'll be happy to take a look at it. Thank you so much.